I've noticed something these past few days. When people aren't picking out massive mistakes in my videos, they're talking about C4. Turns out you guys love this stuff. Some of you, maybe too much. But whatever it is, it seems that C4 is the cool thing right now. It's the bomb. Let's cover some of the stuff that's made the rounds. First off, I've been told by more than one person that they've beaten my diffuse record with their own perfect 0.000 second diffuses. I will say that, technically, this isn't necessarily any better than my old record of 0.0 seconds. But things have changed since I made that video, almost two and a half years ago now. For starters, the T-Model has received a graphical and animation all overhaul. But also, just last month they updated the bomb logic. This addressed the absolute cutoff point. Like, if a bomb is diffused but also detonates at the same time. Before, it was anybody's guess what happened. And now, post-update, the diffuse triumphs. Who knows how many thousands of rounds CTs have won thanks to this update? Well, I do, since you're all proudly spamming me with instances of it happening to you. This is very nice of Valve, since we mere mortals likely wouldn't even have noticed when such a bug occurred. But somebody's always going to be disappointed. Bit Nosh was on the losing side following a successful 0 0.2 second defuse against his team. In CSGO, there's always got to be a loser. Just happened to be him this time. But Valve have ironed out another 0 0.000 second bug. If people or bots join the server mid-round, then the end panel would sometimes proudly announce that they defused the bomb with 0 seconds remaining, even if they hadn't defused at all. This has now been fixed. So, if you've gotten the 0 0.000 second notification since the 22nd of May, wear it with honour. You've earned it. Remember that trailer for CSGO that looked super awesome? Zul, maker of CSGO, made a video where he got the model from the games trailer from the Steam VR folders and ported it into CSGO. It's easy to do. Just place a file into your add-ons folder and play offline. It'll only show up when you've got it equipped though. Drop or plant it and it returns to the original model again. I don't see any reason why they couldn't update the game to feature this new high-res model. Back in 2012 they likely had strict poly limits they were sticking to. But this is 2018. By now we've all got PCs that can easily run CSGO. Right guys? Right? An orthodox viking found a nice little glitch. He dropped the C4 on one end of the map, picked it up, bunny hopped to the other, tossed it on top of a crate, and it teleported all the way back to the other side of the map again. What's going on? In the quest to stop the bomb from getting stuck somewhere that it can't be retrieved, Valve have a trigger that will return it to when it was last on the floor. The maker of this map, Ethanpone, has put triggers in unreachable spots to make his level unbreakable. This teleporting bomb feature was added because people enjoyed chucking it off the side of Vertigo too much. Normally it works pretty well, but if you're bunny hopping, this doesn't count as being on the floor, so if you're good enough, then in theory you could bunny hop all the way across the map and the bomb will still return to its original spot. Now I'm no Frankie, but I still got it working across shorter distances. It's definitely something that could be abused. So all in all, it's understandable why this feature exists, it's the lesser of two evils. But in an orthodox viking's case, it's still really stupid and could be used for high IQ plays where the CTs think the bomb's heading to A before it's magically planted at B. Nice find. And lastly, going AFK shows how to hide the C4 under a bucket on Mirage. This will hide the flashing, hence stopping anybody from being able to find and to defuse the bomb. That is, unless they have headphones, or simply wonder why a bucket sat in the middle of the bomb site. A for effort, at least. Thanks for all your C4 suggestions, people. The guys who sent me their C4 alarm clock project have an Indiegogo page for it and have also created a live action advert, which you can check out here. And here's Zool's high res C4 video, which also contains instructions on how to install it for yourself.